Kim, and I love to answer your questions about Metro Parks, nature, or history. A woman sent me a text of a picture of a salamander that looks like this. And she asked, what kind of salamander is this? The answer can be really simple, but can also get complicated. First, it's very simple to call this a mole salamander. There's a certain group of mole salamanders, and they all have certain characteristics. Mole salamanders live under the ground most of the year, like moles, except they do come out in early spring to breed in vernal pools. Also, mole salamanders have a certain look. Their body is stocky, and they have these ridges along their side called coastal grooves. Most importantly, mole salamanders have nose holes or nostrils, and that tells us that they breathe through lungs. Some of our other common salamanders are completely lungless. That's the simple part of the answer to the question, but it gets more complicated when you try to name the species. For example, these pretty blue flecks on this dark body will say blue spotted salamander to most people, and that's what the books make it look like. However, blue spotted salamanders hybridize with lots of other things. They are endangered in Ohio, blue spotted salamanders, and we do have Lucas County records here. But over many, 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 many years, blue spotted salamanders have been hybridizing with things like smallmouth salamanders and Jefferson salamanders. So the only real way to know if you have a blue spotted salamander is to do DNA work and get genetic material. It doesn't really matter to me what we call this salamander because finding a mysterious animal like this in the Metro Parks is always exciting. So if you have a question about Metro Parks nature or history, send me a text or give me a call and ask the master interpreter.